Renner Center is a retail rent-to-own company with 4,000 locations in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. We do rent-to-own transactions primarily on furniture, electronics, and appliances. I have responsibility for the core data center technology stack, um, storage, networking, and virtualization. We settled on VxRail primarily for the reason that it's integrated with the VMware technology stack. One of the advantages of going with an appliance like VxRail is that it dramatically reduces our administrative overhead. I can run this infrastructure with one person. If I had to build something new, there's no way I'd be able to do that. We actually selected the VX280AF, the All Flash Array, as our appliance of choice. That gives us the most performance, the most scalability, and it's also the direction that the industry is moving in. Our primary use case, the reason we introduced this, is for VDI. It's our typical office knowledge worker applications. So using the vSAN backend for VxRail helps us tremendously with the tight integration it has with vSphere and the deduplication and compression technologies. We just get an order of magnitude more available space out of the array itself. Using Horizon and VxRail together, we get a lot of capabilities now with disaster recovery, with high availability, with the ability to protect the data itself. While the other virtualization technologies are perfectly good applications, they do a lot of the same things. Things that are one-click operations in VMware require weeks of scripting and development in these other platforms. It's just VMware is far and away the most mature platform in the space. We actually got the VxRail up and running in about two hours. With Horizon, with VxRail, we're able to keep the costs down to the point where I can deploy this to the users for a very economical per user cost. More importantly, it's sustainable going forward. Our initial project is for 1,000 users. I have a repeatable process that I can go to, say, oh, now I want to expand this from 1,000 users to 1,500 users. Here's exactly how much that's going to cost. Here's exactly how long that's going to take. Using vSAN, we're reducing our storage footprint in the data center. We don't have to now worry about buying additional storage arrays. We get better performance, better management capabilities, less data center footprint, lower costs. It's just a tremendous advantage in, in every aspect. With virtual SAN today, we can deliver multiple levels of service with the same infrastructure. We can deliver applications much, much faster. I would recommend virtual SAN because honestly, that's the way the industry is moving.